Hello, Namaskara. Welcome to the e section of uh, Vishweshwara Technology University. I am Professor Hampiyoli, KLS Gokhtan of Technology, Belagami, Head of Department of Mathematics. I am dealing with uh, first semester engineering mathematics. 18 Mat 11, that is module 3 integral calculus. This is our fourth lecture. In first lecture, we saw how to define double and triple integrations with some examples, second and third variety of examples. We need to do many other examples. So, in lecture number 4 of uh, this uh, lecture 4 of this 18 mat 11 integration chapter, I am naming it as integration chapter, it is integral calculus, double and triple integration. So, I am going to have next example. Variety of examples, we have to go on doing, get used to this uh, methodology of uh, doing variety of examples. Suppose I am asked to evaluate, I am asked to evaluate integration 0 to 1, 0 to square root of 1 minus x square, 0 to square root of 1 minus x square minus y square with respect to z, y, x. You can write something here x plus y plus z, x, y, z, x square, y square, z square, sin x plus cos y plus tan z, something here. But suppose if it is given x, y, z, next is uh, important step assigning which is limit of x, which is limit of y, which we call it assigning limits, assigning limits it is an important step making star mark here. So that first of all, let me write as it is i equal to 0 to 1. In your notes also, there should be separate two steps because while reading back, do not write this as a first step, you will not understand which you assigned which limits after reading or second time reading. First step as it is as a question, second step you write how to assign the limits. We are going to learn now how to assign this, not difficult, not so difficult x, y, z. Now let us see which is the first limit uh, to assign. So, first limit suppose you have to see here what is not there, out of x, y, z, here z is not there. So, mark that z, assign the limit. So, z equal to 0 to z equal to square root becomes a first limit. Then again come back to second limit. Again see that which is not there out of this. So, already z is gone out of x, y which is not there, y is not there, here y is not there. So, whatever is not there out of x, y that is this limit y. If it is x, it cannot be limit of x, it has to be limit of something else, already z is over. So, this becomes limit of y. Naturally, only x is remaining and that should be constant limit. So, many times we are told large should be constant limit, hence last one is x equal to 0 to 1 constant limit, constant limit equals to x now. So, naturally we have to integrate with respect to z, in this order only we have to integrate whenever there is a variable limits are there, they are to be integrated in the order of whatever we have assigned once. So, z is the first one, so I will write integrate with respect to z keeping x and y as constants. So, now when I integrate that, i equal to x and y do not touch as it is, time being they do not act square root of 1 minus x square as it is, dy dx as it is, do not touch, xy as it is, only z part has to be integrated. So, only z part when you integrate that is this part dz part z dz is a z square by 2 in the given limits it is z equal to 0 to z equal to square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. So, first finish the complete work of z till that do not go to integrate anything, finish the complete work of z do not do go to integrate or simplify anything else. So, first let us put the limits for z as it is. So, we are not going to touch the x y part once again, we are not going to touch i equal to therefore, looks like this x equal to 0 to 1 as it is, y equal to 0 to square root of 
1 minus x square as it is, x y as it is and dy dx as it is. Let us finish off the work of z, let us finish off work of z which is upper limit minus lower limit work which is divided by 2 as it is wherever z is there you are substituting just lifting it and keeping inside here square root sign. So, upper limit is square root of whatever it is 1 minus x square minus y square, but this whole square is there minus of the lower limit wherever z is 0. So, whenever you take square root and square will go hence still simplification is there you are observing that z will not remain after putting the limits. Once you integrate with respect to z put the limits z will not remain. So, therefore, again x as it is y as it is x y as it is 1 by 2 I will take outside square and square root are going 1 minus x square minus y square that much is remaining 0 just neglect dy dx. Next term is with respect to y. So, I will not touch x part touch x part. So, this x part take inside. So, why not with careful observation you should write make it ready for integrate with respect to y by writing just see the careful observation to make it uh, friendly with integration with respect to y. Now, you can see that x part and this x part are constant. So, I will bring this x here and integrate. So, how I how I write it? If you have thought, if you are right, I will be very happy in your mind. See, I will be writing like this x into 1 minus x square into y. Again, x into this minus this is over this minus sign is remaining x into y square. Why I wrote little bigger font because they are integrating terms. Let me put a common square bracket. So now I'll write integrate with respect to integrate with respect to y keeping x as constant time being. So, how it looks like now half x as it is and later on dx as it is integrating with respect to y means only y dy becomes y square by 2 keeping x 1 minus x square as it is. So, x into 1 minus x square means I will be multiplying inside. this y dy has become this marked one has become y dy has become y square by 2 minus this x as it is 2 has become y raised to 3 by 3. So, upper limit minus lower limit which is y equal to 0 to square root of 1 minus x square dx as it is. Now let us finish off upper limit minus lower limit what is that half throughout whenever one of the limits is 0 throughout you can put upper limit because minus 0 you can write for lower limit. So, this half I am not taking outside x minus x cube as, as divided by 2 as it is upper limit square of this square root of 1 minus x square whole square wherever y is there I am putting square root of 1 minus x square square root of n minus x square minus x into wherever y is there square root of 1 minus x square. So, that is y cube So, here uh, y into y y into y square this should be y cube this y cube integration is y raise to 4 by 4 
thank you minus x into this raised to 4 square root of 1 minus x square raised to 4 this 4 as it is upper limit is over so dx as it is x equal to 0 to 1 as it is minus 0 lower limit so half before integrating some more simplification x minus x cube square root will go x into 1 minus x square whole square divided by 4 here divided by 2 with small observation if you take x outside again if you have if you are kept like this only both of these are same actually both of these are same if I simplify that in this fashion x into 1 minus x square again 1 minus x square by 2 minus x into 1 minus x square whole square by 4. So, these two are same here whole square. So, half minus 4 1 by 4 is 1 by 4. I can keep it as 1 by 8 times 0 to 1 So, small simplification will give you what is integrable part till that 1 minus x square so i equal to is looking like this now 1 by 8 as it is 0 to 1 x into if you expand it 1 minus 2 x square plus x raised to 4 that is all and you have to multiply x inside 1 by 8 0 to 1 x minus 2 x cube plus x raised to 4 and this can be integrated very very easily this can be integrated very very easily can you tell me the final answer yes you are right somebody told me by ringing messaging me this is a if you are not possible live now this is my phone number anyway anybody wants 1 by 8 x comes x square by 2 minus 2 times x to 4 by 4 plus x to 6 by 6 x equal to 0 to 1 upper limit wherever x is there 1 1 1 minus whole whole limit is 0 so that you can write 1 by 8 1 by 2 minus 2 by 4 plus 1 by 6 upper limit over minus 0 lower limit you can very easily see that these two are getting cancelled 1 by 6 into 1 by 8 is final answer therefore final answer i equal to you can very easily see that 8 into 6 1 by 48 so like this variety of examples on doing it so, you get an idea of uh, how to deal with uh, different types of uh, examples. So, here we go with the uh, similar limits, but uh, integrand I will change very, very similar, very, very similar limits I will change the integrand. Next example. Evaluate. Okay, no problem. Evaluate. Suppose the same limits I have kept i equal to 0 to 1, 0 to square root of 1 minus and 0 square root of 1 minus x square minus y square, some dz dy dx. But last time integrand was dx xyz. Here the integrand is now 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square minus y square minus z square. Important. For your information, just I am uh, uh, here this is not necessary, but suppose uh, I take a sphere 
with center 0 0 and radius 1 and uh, one eighth part of it and if you complete that it looks like this you complete that it looks like this lower part I am taking only the one eighth part of it one eighth part means this part this part now what happens is when I take a small unit cube volume carefully if you observe this becomes an elementary volume instead of elementary area in two dimension you take dx dy you know you have to take elementary volume dx dy dz then first suppose integrating with respect to z then parallel to z axis you move this like this so that you will be creating a column like this column a column and upper part will be a spherical part lower part will be this plane so this is height z equal to 0 to this height which is z equal to square root of 1 minus x square minus y square if you square and add, you will get x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1. This is the sphere. That means uh, z equal to 0 means x y plane to the sphere, first z limits are there. Now, you vary that parallel to y axis. Like this, you vary this whole column parallel to y axis. So, you will be generating a wall like structure like this, a wall like structure like this, which uh, is generated because of this column which is already created because of this column already created. So, this wall like structure is here till this uh, this is from this plane x z plane y equal to 0 to this line to this curve. This is uh, z equal to 0 if you substitute here this becomes x square plus y square equal to 1 circle and y equal to square root of 1 minus x square. So, this line is this line is actually y equal to 0 line from this point to this. So, x axis to x axis to circle it is moving x axis is y equal to 0 and circle is y equal to square root of 1 minus x square. This whole wall you have to move from minimum of x to maximum of x because radius is 1 x equal to 0 to 1. Just for understanding I told we will be coming back to such things uh, in the evaluation of volumes and if at all I keep 1 suppose I the, my integrand is 1 and integrate exactly the volume of the sphere 1 hit the volume of the sphere 4 by 3 or 4 pi r, pi r by 3 r cube where r is 1 4 by 3 pi r cube if r is 1 4 by 3 pi into 1 hit part of that you will get. Now, assigning the limits 0 to 1, 0 to square root of 1 minus x square, 0 to square root of 1 minus x square minus y square, 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square minus y square minus z square. Purposely I am marking this for my integration purpose. Naturally, in the, like last example, this becomes integration limit for z because z is not there here, so dz first. Next one is already z is over means uh, this becomes limit of This becomes a limit of naturally y because already z is over. So, y equal to this to y equal to this naturally remains is x. So, now then uh, this is a uh, second one is y, third one is x. So, now first one is integrate with respect to z keeping x and y constants. So, how it looks like?
I equal to x as it is, y as it is. Before integrating, I keep this uh, 1 upon square root of this constant, I keep it as something square. This constant, I can keep it as something square, some constant square minus z square. So, this part is k square 1 minus x square minus z square, sorry, y means uh, k is a square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. So, this part becomes k then. So, 0 to z equal to 0 to k time being for only for this step dz dy dx. So, inside k there is x and y, but this is a standard limit sin inverse of sin inverse of z by k which is equal to x equal to 0 to 1 as it is, y equal to 0 to square root as it is. This becomes sin inverse of z of divided by k, z equal to 0 to k. So, that makes our work simple dy dx. Until the limits are over, we are not going to do any other work. So, when I put the upper limit, minus lower limit x as it is, y as it is, upper limit wherever z is or k, k by k it becomes sin inverse of 1 minus lower limit is z equal to 0, sin inverse 0 which is 0 into dy dx as it is. So, dy dx as it is. Now, all of you know that sin of pi by 2 90 degrees is 1. So, if I interchange this sin this side sin inverse 1. So, sin this side it becomes sin inverse 1 is pi by 2. So, sin inverse 1 is pi by 2 x equal to 0 to 1 y equal to 0 to square root pi by 2 and all of you know that sin inverse 0 is 0 which is d by dx. Now, pi by 2 is constant we can take pi by 2 outside and see that we can integrate with respect to y. We will have to integrate with respect to y because variable limits are there. So, this is the variable limits we will have to integrate with respect to y first. So, integrate with respect to y keeping x constant. So, now it is over x equal to constant written waiting for you. Very good. So, when I integrate that i equal to x as it is pi by 2 outside only dy integration y between 0 to square root x as it is. So, when I integrate with respect to y once again uh, that becomes y dy, y become dy has become y, hence uh, when I substitute here, yes, equal to pi by 2 as it is, 0 to 1 as it is, upper limit square root of 1 minus x square, lower limit 0. So, now when I put x equal to sin theta here, dx equal to cos theta, limits will change x is 0 to 1, if uh, x is 0 sin theta 0 theta 0, if x is 1 sin theta 1 theta pi by 2. So, limits have also changed time being 
i becomes theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 square root of 1 minus sin square theta and dx is cos theta d theta. So, this also becomes a cos theta totally it is pi by 2 0 to pi by 2 cos square theta d theta. So, now we will take a small pause and uh, many times such integrations. Suppose integration 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to 6 theta. Instead of sin, it can be cos also. Cos is to the same. 6, you make it 5, then go on writing all odd numbers and start with 6, 6 volt 2, if 1 multiply by pi by 2. Suppose if it is 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to 7 theta. 7, you make it 6, write all even numbers writes from 7, 7, 5, 3, if it is odd you multiply by 1. Suppose if this is 4, then you should not write first part, 4 becomes 3, 1, 4, 2, pi by 2. That is, suppose if it is uh, 0 to pi by 2, cos is to 4 I will take, it is very similar to sin, no change in the value of this if you change to sin. Subtract 1 from 4, 4 becomes 3, then write all odd here 4 to pi by 2. If it is 2, what happens? In a very similar fashion, 2 becomes 1, that is all and here you write divided by 2, yes. So, 2 becomes 1 divided by 2 pi by 2. So, whenever it is sin square or cos square theta 1 by 2 pi by 2 pi by 4 do not forget. Here I am completing this pi by 2 this has become 1 by 2 pi by 2 hence uh, pi square by 8 will be our final answer. So, that this is a special example. So, we will go to the next example again variety is our concentration now variety is our concentration. more and more examples, more and more variety, you will start getting accustomed to this. Let us take the next example, evaluate, we will make it little thicker. Suppose, uh, we are asked to find 0 to a, 0 to x, 0 to x plus y, e raised to x plus z plus z, some dx dy dz. First step is always assigning limits, i equal to, let us keep as it is first, 0 to a, 0 to x, 0 to x plus y, e raised to x plus y, z. let us see the limits what we have to assign. first one. This has to be limit of z because this is x and y, z is not there. So, this is dz. Next one. Yes, you have assigned it already. Well and good. Here already z is over means uh, this has to be limit of y because x, y, z already you have assigned limit of z, remains is x and y, this cannot be x is not for x, x is for something else, so that y is also over now, remains is x has to be last and it has to be constant limits. So, second one is y and third one last one is x, last one is x. Naturally, we have to integrate with respect to z. 
keeping x and y constants. Quite interesting example because it is a little different from the previous one i equal to x limits as it is, y limits as it is, dy dx as in this it is something like e raised to 2 plus z dz because this part is constant. So, when you integrate e raised to 2 plus z e raised to 2 plus z as it is or you can separate out e square and uh, e raised to z and then if you integrate also e square e raised to z integration is e raised to z. So, e raised to 2 plus z only you will get back. But this 2 in this 2 you have to substitute as x plus y. So, this 2 becomes x plus y which is a constant. So, e raised to 2 plus z instead of 2 plus z I should have written x plus y. Okay. Done. So, this becomes e raised to x plus y plus z. Between the limits z equal to 0 to z equal to x plus y dy dx as it is, dy dx as it is. Now, when I substitute the limits, wherever z is there, you have to substitute. Means, uh, wherever only z part is there, you substitute the limits x plus y. x is little bit careful here for this example, y equal to 0 to x as it is, upper limit e raised to x plus y plus this z becomes x plus y minus e raised to this x plus y as it is, this z becomes 0. So, z is not remaining in the next step. Now, integrate with respect to x, but this becomes e raised to 2 times x plus y. You can write it as x equal to 0 to a, y equal to 0 to x, e raised to 2 x plus e raised to 2 y minus e raised to x e raised to y. So, that only y part in the next case you can integrate. So, then definitely I will write integrate with respect to y i equal to x equal to 0 to a. This part as it is, integration of e raised to 2 y is e raised to 2 y divided by 2 minus e raised to x as it is, integration of e raised to y is e raised to y, y equal to 0 to x, dx as it is, upper limit minus lower limit. x equal to 0 to a as it is, e raised to 2 x as it is, upper limit y is x, 2 x it becomes minus lower limit y equal to 0 means e raised to 0 is 1 divided by 2 as it is. So, this is first term over minus e raised to x, upper limit wherever y is there x minus lower limit wherever y is there 0 e raised to 0 1. So, only dx remains, only x remains that is correct also. So, we will simplify and make it ready for integration. So, first one is half of take this e raised to 2 x inside e raised to 4 x minus e raised to 2 x minus of take this e raised to x inside e raised to 2 x 
minus of e raised to x with a little difficulty we can simplify this because 4x term is there which I will write separately half of e raised to 4x term is there. So, there are two e raised to 2x terms one is minus half and one is minus 1. So, that becomes minus 3 by 2 e raised to 2x. So, minus of minus plus e raised to x. So, please uh, check it out e raised to 4x by 2 minus 3 by 2 e raised to 2x plus e raised to x which is very simple make ready for integration and uh, this is ordinary integration many times you have done such integrations. So, last part when I integrate it this becomes equal to half of e raised to 4 x by 4 minus 3 by 2 into e raised to 2 x upon 2 plus e raised to x as it is x equal to 0 to 1. Here x equal to 0 will not make it 0 that is important point in the last cases we are polynomials that is why it was becoming 0. So, x equal to 0 is not making them 0 please note. So, both upper and lower limits are non-zero. So, throughout when I put the upper limit first one 1 by 8 x equal to 1 x equal to 1 x equal to 1 e raised to 4 raised to 2 by 3 times divided by 4 plus e raised to 1 upper limit over minus the lower limit x equal to 0 x equal to 0 x equal to 0 all exponential is becoming 1 simply 1 by 8 minus 3 by 2 sorry. One by eight minus three by two plus one. So that uh, this simplification is not difficult. Finally, I will write the answer e raised to four by eight minus three by four times e square plus e. And uh, this uh, simplification, if you do it, uh, not difficult at all. Minus three by eight, you will get this is the answer. So again, the same slogan. More number of examples, more variety. So you will get idea of what you are doing. Get used to it. See, it is better if you repeat these examples without looking to them also. Again, evaluate. We shall change only x, y, z we should not get used to. We shall change some variables now. Suppose 0 to pi by 2 is there constant next one is 0 to a sin theta is there. Suppose next one 0 to square root of not square root, but uh, 0 to uh, a square minus r square whole divided by a. So, r theta and one more variable is there. I will give you. So, these are all the variables dr, d theta, dz. So, you have in terms of r, theta, z something you can write, but you are given only you to integrate r. Important one here it is very very important. Here it is very very important. because this is a special case of assigning limits. Let us assign 1 by 1 i equal to 0 to 0 to a sin theta it should come to your mind that this cannot be for theta and 0 to a square minus out of r theta z this cannot be for r this cannot be for theta also because if theta is over again you have to integrate with respect to theta. Once again this cannot be for r if I write theta here theta integration will be over then again you cannot integrate theta terms this cannot be for theta also this has to be for z equal to. So, it, this is little tricky now z is over theta cannot be for theta it has to be for r r is over only left is theta this example please practice first with respect to z, then with respect to r, a last one with respect to theta, you have to do it. 
So, now I will write integrate integrate with respect to z keeping r constant. So, when I write it i equal to theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 r equal to 0 to a sin theta r as it is r d theta as it is dz integration is z 0 to square root of not square root of a square minus r square divided by a so, now again upper limit minus lower limit theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 r equal to 0 to some sin theta. Upper limit is wherever z is there just substitute here a square minus r as it is a square minus r square divided by a lower limit 0 so divided by nothing is there by mistake I wrote dr d theta. With little simplification, this integration is ready for integrating with respect to r also. So, now you integrate with respect to r. Integrate with respect to r theta as constant for time being i becomes now but before integrating theta i equal to 0 to pi by 2 this uh, a can be kept outside r into a so this is, suppose i write in the next step a square r minus r into r square r cube so i am integrating with respect to r theta not touch so, that becomes equal to 1 by a as it is 0 to pi by 2 as it is which is for theta r dr is r square by 2 a square r square by 2 minus r cube becomes r is to 4 by 4 limits are well known which is a, a sin theta. Okay. So, here limits still r equal to 0 to a sin theta I have to write. which becomes 1 by a as it is upper limit wherever r is there a sin theta a sin theta a square a square sin square theta minus a raised to 4 sin raised to 4 theta d theta. Now, first one 1 by a as it is a raised to 4, 0 to pi by 2 sin square is 1 by 2 pi by 2, already one more 1 by 2 is there, this 1 by 2 is there, minus A raised to 4 by 4, sin raised to 4 becomes 3 1 by 4 2 pi by 2. So, one of the A's will, one of the A's will get cancelled we can simplify by taking pi by 2 also outside. So, finally, if you simplify a bit uh, which uh, hope uh, that part I can take liberty. Naturally, a cube term is remaining one pi is coming out. So, that uh, phi by 64 you should verify, phi by 64 you should verify. So, again today we covered many of the examples. In the next cases, I would like to see that you are not given the limits, but you are given the region for example. For example, let us keep the curiosity for the next class and uh, say by today. Suppose you are asked to integrate, example next time what I am doing is integrate over the region R some x y dx dy where R is the region bounded by, where R is the region bounded by 
parabola y square equal to x line y equal to x. So, you are not given the limits. That time, you will have to draw this y square equal to x. You have to draw this y equal to x and mark these parts. This becomes our region of integration and we have to see that lowest part of y when I vary parallel to y axis, this elementary area if I vary like this I vary, y is varying from straight line to y is varying from parabola. So, that becomes a y limits x 2 square root of x. This I am just uh, keeping curiosity. This strip you vary from minimum to this point becomes 1 1 need not verify because it is satisfying 1 1 also 1 1 also here. So, this is from x y axis to this line. So, y axis is x equal to 0 and this line is x equal to 1. So, that becomes x equal to 0 1 more details we shall see in the next class. So, in the next class you have given the region and we have to draw the figure and put the limits. That is the next variety till that thank you so much. Bye.